Okay, we in Lamentations 4.22. So the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, representing the remnant of the 12 tribes of Israel. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He's not going to carry us away into captivity. The last captivity we had to go in was when we came on them slave ships in Deuteronomy 28.68. That's it. But what is he going to do? He will visit thine iniquity. He's going to visit the wickedness, the iniquity, the sins, O daughter of Edom, of the Edomites. That's why when you read 2 Ezra 6 and 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, the world that we're in now. And Jacob, who is the forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, representing the 12 tribes of Israel, the remnant that we just read about in Revelations 12, 17. That one third of the twelve tribes of Israel is it of is it that follower? Because the kingdom's coming to the Israelites. That's why they asked him in Acts one and six, "Will thou restore again the kingdom to Israel?" But they thought the kingdom was gonna come at that time. We hadn't went through those curses in Deuteronomy twenty eighth chapter yet, and many other things that that's written that they didn't understand that we can look at now and understand our praise to the most high he said the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished O daughter of Zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity like he said the most high is righteous and everything that he does is a righteous judgment but he said going to visit the iniquity O daughter of Edom or the Edomites who about the earth in the last days. He will discover thy sins. He will discover, discover their sins. And you see what he did? When you, when you do wrong, you got to pay for it. Um, that's what he said. I mean, it's just the way the most high is. We did wrong, we had to pay for it. Colossians 3.25 But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no respect to persons. Ain't no individuality in this. Everybody gonna meet the seat of Mashiach Yahushai who gonna judge according to the laws of the Most High. The commandments of the Most High. Understand this. Overstand this. He that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons with the Most High. So no matter how you look at it, this is where it's going to be. We had to do it. We had to do it. We had to deal with it. We met the judgment seat. That's why I say, hey, our iniquity is accomplished. Accomplished at this time when he bring that forth. We just gotta prepare ourselves for it. Look at uh Ecclesiastes seven and twenty-nine. He said, Lo, this only have I found. That the Most High have made man upright. He made man to be righteous. Upright. But they have sought out many inventions. Corrupted themselves. By the things that is offered to us. In this world. That the Most High can look at it and say wow. All they have to do is follow me. He said it ain't grievous. It ain't hard. It's, you don't have to feel bad about doing what I want you to do. It's easy. It's just man want to have his own way. And women want to have their own way. Children want to have their own way. To be wicked. That's why he said this. And see, people don't understand. And those that do. Man, go to uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Why are you saying this? Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the most I said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. Well, you just find Jerusalem representing the Israelites. 
and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men, the foreheads of the men, the minds of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All the filthy wicked acts and sins of our people that they do behind their own inventions, their own mind, their own imaginable minds of how they think. They think a certain way, they speak a certain way, then they act a certain way. And that creates this abominations that he's talking about. This wick, filthy, wicked acts for all the abominations that be done in the midst of our people. Over and over and over again. Here it comes again. But to recognize Satan, the devil, he, what he's doing, I mean, he's, he's doing what he's doing. He's doing what he's supposed to do. Most people don't recognize it because they, they, they used to him. He got, he got him at his, at his will. He's doing what he's supposed to do. We're not doing what we're supposed to do. See, if we do what we're supposed to do, then we're going to be all right. Because the Most High is not going to, he's not going to send Satan. He's going to allow Satan to, to deal with you if you're righteous. You're trying to do what's right. You're following him. But if you're trying to do what's, trying, trying to follow what's wrong, then you're going to be dealt with. You're going to be dealt with. As I said, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. So most I said, go through the midst of the city instead of mark. That mark is this truth. You learn it, you live it, you apply it in your life. In the foreheads, the minds of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, in the midst of our people. When you know, you know what this Bible is talking about, it's like when the book is closed, you don't know nothing. You dumb as ever. Everybody know everything. But it's hurtful. Because you know it's coming. Verse 5. And to the others that don't have this mark in their mind. This truth in their mind. 24-7. And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. It's like my son was going to smite the nations. Smite means to kill. Let not your eyes spare. Don't let your eyes spare. Nobody going to have, ain't no pity in this. They say, neither have ye pity. They don't have no pity on no one. He say, slay. I mean, kill utterly old. Kill old people. This is what the Most High is giving a direct order to do. At this time, whenever he ordained this, future prophecy, slay utterly old and young, old and young people, both maids, young women, and little children, even little children, that's wicked as ever, and women, going to be put to death, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. They roll in his truth sincerely and begin at my sanctuary, begin with the 12 tribes of Israel. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. The ancient men. The older. They know better. No different than, remember they bought the woman that had committed adultery to a Mashiach of He's writing on the ground. He looked up Oh, yeah? Roll back on the ground. So he, without sin, cast the first stone. And from the elders, because they don't live the longest, they quit com to commit more sins than everybody else, they stop, shoot, leaving. He said, hey, where are your accusers at? Everybody left. He, without sin, cast the first stone, right? So he told them, hey, sin no more. And that's where we at now. We can't be sinning. We cannot be sinning. And you don't have to sin.
Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Most High, thoughts of peace and not of evil. So it's he not thinking evil. He say, know the thoughts that he think toward us. It's the most high saying, thoughts of peace. And not of evil. To give you an expected end. Do you know what that expected end is? Everlasting life, man. Then shall you go upon, then shall you call upon me. And you shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. We just do what he say do. We're going to pray to him. We're going to call upon him. We're going to pray unto him. And he said, I'm going to listen. And you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. With all your mind. See, and I will be found of you. Yasharala, 12 tribes of Israel, said the Most High. And I will turn away your captivity. This is the last time he said we got to be in captivity. He said, I'm going to turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations. Can we scattered among all these nations. And from all the places where the eye, the most I have driven you. Because he told us he's going to do this in Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And we ain't listened to his voice. His commandments. Said the most high. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Going to bring us back to our land. Because ye have said, the Most High have raised us up prophets in Babylon. Right here in America. That's where the majority of the prophets are. I don't care. Y'all can say we scattered wherever, wherever. Show me any prophets from any other country. Most of you have right here in Babylon. In America. All praise to the Most High. He gives all the glory. His word is true. Deuteronomy 32. And 4. Deuteronomy 32 and 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. You know, his work is perfect. No matter what he do, it's perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a power of truth, and without iniquity. So the Most High ain't dealing with no evil, no sin, no iniquity, wickedness. Just and right is he. You know, just and right is he. You know, you're looking at iniquity. You know, you're looking at morally, morals, you're looking at principles, um, evil, wickedness, perverseness, being unjust, being unrighteous. Most High is not unrighteous. Which one of you out there going to say the Most High is unrighteous? I hope nobody. That's a dangerous thing. Come from, from, from your mouth. To think that he's unrighteous. Better understand and overstand. His work is perfect. Whatever he do. Give him glory for it. Look at 1 John 5 and 7. But there are, th excuse me, no, that's not what I want. Uh, 17. 
1 John 5 and 17, because they added that in the Bible right there, that verse. I did a lesson on that, the Christian commission. Uh, 1 John 5 and 17, all unrighteousness is sin. So the most high a sinner? You're going to say he's a sinner? All unrighteousness is sin. And there is a sin not unto death. You know, so unrighteousness is sin. You know, Psalm 92 and 15. To show that the Mosai is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. So are y'all with me? So there's no sin, which is unrighteousness, in the Most High. Since unrighteousness is sin, there's no unrighteousness in the Most High. Period. Second Chronicles 19 and 7. No unrighteousness in the Most High. Second Chronicles 19 and 7. Wherefore, now let the fear of the Most High be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no iniquity with the Most High our power. Hear that? There is no iniquity, unrighteousness with the Most High our power. Nor respect the persons as we read in Colossians 3.25 Nor taking of gifts. You know, you can give him to change his judgment. So, look at Job 34 and 10. Job 34 and 10. Concerning the Most High. Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. Therefore, hearken unto me, Ye men of understanding. And then what, what is Proverbs 4 and 7 say? Ye men of understanding. Proverbs 4 and 7. Wisdom, which is proper application of knowledge, how to apply this knowledge in your life, is the principal thing. See? Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. That's why we're here. Proverbs, uh, so like your Job 34 and 10. Therefore, hearken unto me, ye men of understanding, that have his wisdom, and know how to apply it in their life. Far be it from the Most High, far be it from the Most High, that he should do wickedness. He should do wickedness. And from the Almighty, that he should commit iniquity. He's not going to commit anything that's unrighteous. Get that through your membranes out there. Once again, Job 34 and 10. Therefore, hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from the Most High, that he should do wickedness and from the almighty that he should commit iniquity. He's not going to commit any unrighteous act. Whatever he do, he's going to be righteous. He say, hey, we love him. He chastens. He say he'll be dipped in the fiery furnace of affliction. So I say when we look at this, we get a little understanding of him, more of an understanding of him. So you know. We're 
We're going to look at uh, Psalms 18th chapter and the 30th verse, Psalm 18 and 30. As for the Most High, His way is perfect. Hear that? As for the way, Most High, Power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, His way is perfect. His way is perfect. No end. Uh, he's perfect. As for the Most High, His way is perfect. The word of the Most High is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him. He's your protection. But the way of the Most High is perfect. Perfect. He is perfect. Complete. Sinless. That's perfect. So, Hosea 11 and 7. Hosea 11 and 7. And my people are bent to back by backsliding from me. Though they call them to the most high, none at all would exalt him. Sad boy. My people are bent to backsliding. And it's really, really is sad because the most high is looking at everything that we do. Cold. We destroyed ourselves. We can't blame the Most High for nothing, cause he don't he don't deal with. It. He's all righteous. We do things that draw the evil to us. Hosea 11 and 7. And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they call them to the most high, none at all would exalt him. Hear that? They're calling you to the most high. He said none at all would exalt him. Only whenever he do something for him. How many of you here praise the most high? Praise ye the most high. Praise the most high. You woke up this morning. Praise the most high. You have your right mind. If you listen to me and understand it, you have your right mind. Praise the most high. See, my people are bent to backsliding from me. Going away from him. To be in darkness and not to light. Right. Though they call them to the most high. Now we calling you to the most high now. This lesson. None at all would exalt him. Say how shall I give thee up? Ephraim. How shall I deliver thee? Israel. How shall I make thee an Adma? How shall I set thee as Zeboam, these cities, the Most High still have remnants of them from Sodom and Gomorrah. He brought these cities down. My heart, my mind is turned within me. My repentings are kindled together. Man, that's cold, man. You know? He had to do it. But he has repentance, man. He has feelings like we have feelings. See, I will not execute the fierceness of my anger. See, I'm not going to give him the fierceness of my anger, that vengeance that we read about when the spirits has created for vengeance right here on this earth. See, I will not return to destroy Ephraim. For I am the Most High, and not man, the Holy One in the midst of thee, and I will not enter into the city. 
They shall walk after the Most High. He shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the west. We are on the western hemisphere. They shall tremble as a bird out of Egypt and as a dove out of the land of Assyria. And I will place them in their houses, said the Most High. <laughs> it says, Ephraim compasses me about with lies. Tell the lies, man. No lies going to the kingdom, y'all. In the house of Israel with deceit, more lies. But Judah yet ruleth with the Most High and is faithful with the saints. That's why Judah's the head tribe, bringing forth this truth in abundance. Rolling with the Most High. You say Judah is his lawgiver. But with all the rest of the tribes got to come back in because they've been brain polluted. By the way of this world. The world set up to send you straight to hell, y'all. Nothing that's going to really lead to the kingdom. If you're not looking at what's right in the eyes of the Most High, how are you going to the kingdom? He's not bringing no novices. I'm telling y'all, you, oh, I can do what I want to do in the end, I'm going to be saved. No, don't believe that. Only one third of the 12 tribes of Israel are going to be saved. You read in uh, Romans 11, 26, and so all Israel shall be saved. That's not talking about all is a certain number. And that certain number is the one third of the 12 tribes of Israel, of Israel, or the Israelites. He's not a man, he should lie. He said it. It shall be done. He said his word goes out and does not come back void. Ezekiel 18 and 30. He said, Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, each one of us as individuals, according to what we've done in these mortal bodies. Said the Most High Power, Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions he say, repent and turn from all your sins. So iniquity, so your wickedness shall not be your ruin. So the things you do, the things that you think, the things that you say, the things that you do will not be your ruin. What about I going to cast you into the lake of fire? Under the power of a Mashiach Yahushai, who's coming to judge and make war. Y'all heard it. That's why we got to be on the right side. With him. He on the right side, right? With the most high. Not on the left side. When you're doing things that's wrong and have to pay the price, Deuteronomy 25 and 13. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Let's go to, um, it's okay. We know, I'm not going to deal with that. Um, uh, Go to um, Go to uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes. It's about that time. Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter. And verse thirteen. It says, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For the Most High, why must I give a shot? 
shall bring every work into judgment. That's everything we've done in these bodies, these mortal bodies, into judgment with every secret thing. Because if all the most high's eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and every secret thing also. That's why we have to apply this truth in our life every day. Think about these things as we conduct ourselves so that we don't get a, a bad rap with the Most High. Look at uh, Jeremiah 23 and go to Jeremiah the 23rd chapter. And verse 24, Jeremiah 23 and 24. Can any man hide himself in the secret places that I shall not see him? I'm going to ask you a question. Can any man hide himself in secret places that I cannot see him? I don't care if you go 50,000 miles. If, it, if there is 50,000 miles, you can go down in the earth, 50, 11, whatever, into the earth. Most of I said, can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Said the Most High. Can you go somewhere and you can't, Most High can't see you? Do not I feel heaven and earth? Said the Most High. <laughs> so where you going to go that you can hide from the Most High? Whose eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. That's why he said, please, that's 12, 14. For the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. What do you say? Jeremiah 23, 24. Can any hide himself in the secret places that I shall not see him? Said the Most High. He said, I see everything you're doing. Do not I feel heaven and earth? Said the Most High. He said, hey. He see everything that's going on. And what does he do? Once he's had, he has all the secrets that you think nobody see you. Nobody see me. Think you rolling secretly. Hmm. I don't think so. Let's go to uh, the book of Amos. So the most I have all his little secrets. And then he does this. Amos 3 and 7. Amos the third chapter, the seventh verse. So he got his secrets right. Then he does this. He says, Surely the Most High power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants. While the Israelites, we proved that. The prophets. See? He revealeth his secrets unto his servants, who are the Israelites, the prophets. So going back to Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For the Most High shall bring every work in the judgment with every secret thing. So he tell the little birdies go around and be speaking. Whether it be good, whether well, you know it's good. The Most High is good, his commandments are good. Or whether it be evil. Anything that's contrary to hearing the voice of the Most High, doing what he say do, his rules and regulations, is evil. So once, a monster of Shai come to judge and make war, and then it's going to be about this. 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, and the 10th verse. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach and Mashiach, he come to judge and make war. We read in Revelations 19 and 11. We must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach and Mashiach, who's judging under the power of the Most High, that everyone may receive the things done in his body. Same thing we just read in Ecclesiastes 12 and 
12 and 13 and 14. According to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. That's a choice you have. Choose life or death. If it's good, then you keep it, you, 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 you end, you end with the most high. Well, he good. You ain't good. The most high is good. My second side say, don't call me good. Only one that's good is the most high. But everybody say, how you doing? I'm good, no. The most high is good. And we can't compare ourselves to him. He said, my ways of thoughts are not your ways of thoughts. So we can't even compare ourselves to him. Everybody's saying that. To have you off. Make you be off. And some won't accept it because, you know, you're going to find something to be able to justify your wickedness. But he said what? For we must all appear before the judgment seat of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Good enough for Mashiach Yahweh Shai is good enough for me. Y'all got a problem with it? Take it up with him. Now he's coming to judge and make war. <laughs> That every one may receive the things done in this body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. We know what's good, what's high, and keeping of his commandments is good. Or bad is not doing it, being unrighteous, not doing this. Knowing therefore the terror, you hear that? It don't say love, it say the terror of the most high. The terror of a Mashiach was shot. We persuade men. But we are made manifest unto the Most High. And our trust also are made manifest in your consciousness, the way you think. I hope this was edifying for you. And take heed. Study. Show yourself approval to the Most High. Go over this. Make sure that uh, you understand if there's any questions, just check with me. And with that, I'm out. Shalom.